Hi everyone, um, I'm back guys with Ace Redefined. We try to unpack uh, Euclidean geometry. If you watched our previous video, I think uh, we told you that uh, if you got such a question, you first need to analyze all the theorems uh, available on that question. Okay, with this one, uh, first of all, you need to read a statement. I didn't write a statement for you here, but you must make sure that you read the statement and really, really understand it. From the statement, we are told that E is the center to the small circle, which means E is the center of this circle. Now, if we are told that we have got the center, and we know that the line from the center to the circumference is what? It's, uh, it's a radius. Then you need to unpack that. We have got three lines from the center to the circumference. To, to the to the circumference, yeah. We have this one, we have this one, we have this one. Meaning, all these lines are equal. You know, they are all radii. And then from there, we need to check. Uh, we are given that BE is equal to CD. It's given on the statement. And if we check, BE is a code to the big circle. CD is a code to the big circle. What did you say in the previous video? We said that uh, if we have this code in a circle and this code in a circle, if these codes are equal, then they will subtend equal angles to the circumference, right? Then if we can go to this question, we can see that this uh, code is subtending 28 degrees to the circumference, meaning um, BE is also going to subtend 28 degrees to the circumference. Samba by Kimos. From there, we need to also check, we are told that DCEB is a cyclic part, meaning it is um, a quadrilateral that is touching, um, all its points are touching the circle. And you know that if it's a cyclic point, we have, uh, let's say, a, this angle. If it's a cyclic point, we know that this angle is equal to the opposite interior. The exterior angle of a cyclic point is equal to the opposite interior angle of a cyclic point. Meaning here, this angle is equal to the angle. Mm -hmm. From there, you know that the two opposite angles of um, a cyclic quad are supplementary, meaning this angle and this angle are going to add up to 180 degrees. Now, let's go back to our diagram. We will know that this angle and this angle are going to add up to 180 degrees. This angle and this angle will add up to 180 degrees because they are opposite. And the opposite angles of a uh, cyclic part are supplementary. From there, we've almost unpacked all the theorems available here. Let's go to our question. Our first question says, determine D1. D1, mm. so what you're going to do, you're going to say, CD and E, B are equal, that's given. And from there, we can see that, um, C E3 is equal to 28 degrees. If C is equal to 28 degrees and um, E B subtends 28 degrees to the circumference, meaning we can see that E C is parallel to D B. Right? If we were to prove that Y is is C parallel to DP? We have got these two alternate angles because we have just proven that uh, D2 is equal to 28 degrees, meaning we have calculated this angle already. So that now we have deduced that this line is parallel to this one. From there, we can see that um, what's happening now. Um, if if D1, I mean if CD is equal to EB, 
that is given and um, this one is A and AE is equal to EB remember these are radii right we have got this radius and we have this radius right now if EB is equal to EC those are radius and CD is equal to EB given meaning CD is also equal to EC right and if these two um, lines are equal then this brings us to a isosceles triangle and whereby the base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal hence D1 is equal to 28 degrees D2 is equal to 28 degrees now the next uh, angle to the demand is uh, B2 B2 if we take a look at um, the diagram we have we have uh, this and D D as a whole let me see D1 plus D2 is equal to M D meaning D as a whole is 28 plus 28 28 plus 28 that gives us to 56 degrees this means that uh, and D as a whole is 56 degrees and we know that the opposite of this of um, a, 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 side, a side equal add up to 180 degrees and also if we are given this shape this is a trapezium, right? Whereby these lines are parallel. This and this, I mean, these lines are equal. This space and this are also equal, right? The two lines are equal, and we're gonna have the base and this equal in a way that if we can subtend this it can form an isosceles triangle right now we can deduce it from what we have uh, done here d is equal to 56 degrees meaning b2 will also be equal to 56 degrees right now the next only to determine uh, here we given to determine this angle this must be E1. E1. E1, we know from, uh, I think you did this, grade 9, grade 8. The exterior angle of a triangle is called to the sum of the two opposite interior angles of a triangle. Meaning, this angle is equal to the sum of a plus b, provided this is a, this is b. Then, from there, we'll come back to our question. Uh, given that, proved that d2 is 28 and b2 is 56, we can now determine this angle because of this triangle that we are given here. Meaning A1, E1 will be equal to 28 plus B2, B2 which is 56. Why do we say 28 plus 56? It's because D2 and B2 are two opposite interior angles of this angle. This is the exterior angle of the triangle. This is the triangle, right? And then the two opposite interior, we check the other angles but in the interior of the triangle now we say the sum of the two opposite interior are equal to the exterior angle of a, a triangle 
meaning E1 is going to be 56 plus 28 degrees. Oh, 28 degrees. <laughs> then the last question here is to determine E2, this L. There are two ways you can determine this one. You can, um, it's either you add all these angles in a triangle to get E2, or maybe we use this straight line to get E2. So that one it becomes very simple. As you can see, our diagram was messy, so the only medicine to cure this is just to unpack everything piece by piece. And if you do that, definitely you're gonna pass your metric. And if you also stay with as redefined, leave a comment. Just check on your right hand side bottom of the video. There's a red button, it says subscribe. So you want to subscribe there in order to be able to update it for every video we're gonna post here. I mean, we still want to post even more, more, more difficult questions for you. We love you so much. Is redefined. Stay with us. Thank you. Amen.